Hi everyone, Sue, Art, Craft and Journals and I'm here today to do another video for the Auntie Vera Scrap and Craft online store and please remember that there is a discount on the products that I did receive in my box um, and the other ladies boxes as well so if you haven't seen the other ladies boxes uh, Gina does an unboxing and I will link her um, unboxing video and of course Wendy Mason also so I will link all three of those um, now what I'm going to do I'm going to I have these little bags that I've tea dyed and what I thought I would do is um, decorate a couple of them possibly more depends on how I go um, I'm thinking I need to do some happy mouth things so I'm thinking I might do a couple of loaded pockets and um, maybe decorate one of the other ones to put inside the little journal that I did make as well because there is room for a little bit more in there so if you haven't seen the videos for this one there is the making of the journal and the making of some of the ephemera that's inside so I will link both of those as well and of course you can go to the Auntie Vera scrap and craft blog as well um, where there's um, a rundown of what I did how I made them and also photographs as well so please keep that in mind Okay, now basically I've got whatever I've got left here. I've still got quite a bit of paper. Um, let me see. I've still got quite a lot of the lace. I've got quite a few of the sentiments from um, the L. No, it wasn't the album. Can't think what it's called, but the paper that had the sentiments. I've got the postcard paper. I've got most of that. I have this Generations paper, which is the one I was going to look at using today. I have a few scraps left of, um, let's move those out of the way, of these ones. This one was the portrait one. I also have this one, which I haven't cut into yet. Uh, this one is the handwritten um, one, but I more than likely will use this side. This one here, the daughter page, I haven't used that one and I've had that on the back. I also have, whoops, uh, this one, the homestead one. I have quite a bit of this one, the uh, album, and I have this one, the decades as well. So, and a few other bits and pieces in there, scraps as well. I have uh, a little washi tape and I have the Nouveau Drops um, buttermilk. And I do also have, which I can't see right now, the, oh here it is, um, the acrylic paint apricot. So I may try somehow to incorporate that in one of them as well. I also have grabbed out some ivory cardstock, just um, probably to make the cards that, or well, the tags that are going to go in the envelopes of the paper bags. Alright, so I'll just move that out of the way. All right, uh, cutting board or something to work on. Okay, now what I'm thinking is a couple of loaded pockets. And um, thinking something like this. Maybe fold that to make another pocket. So that would effectively be one, two, three, four. So I think I might do that. So they're going to be similar. Um, okay, I could do the back as well, actually, but I might not because uh, the people who who receive them may decide they want to put them in a journal or something. Okay, so I'm going to glue those down, and I'm going to use the art glitter glue, which I hope is working today. Yes, it is good. Now I could also have tucked this one up as well, actually, I didn't think of that, doesn't matter. Okay, might just bring you a little closer. Okay, okay now we'll just glue this down as well. Okay. 
Okay, just let those sit for a few minutes and dry. Now, just do one of these. Um, now, I wonder how we will go with using the paint as a bit of a background. So I'm just going to squirt a little bit onto some plastic I've got to the side here. And I'm going to use my brayer, but you could use a brush or a scraper, a spatula, something like that. Okay. Okay, and I've still got quite a bit of paint left, so I might do a second one. Oops, quite a bit left here, so I might just get a bit more texture by doing it this way and try not to get it all over those. Now, they're going to have to dry. Won't take long to dry, especially at the moment because it's quite warm here, so they won't take long. So back to these ones. Okay, so I was, as I said, thinking of using these little images, uh, little photographs here. So I might cut these out and I'll probably fast forward this bit. Okay, I haven't cut all of them out. I've still got a couple left, so I might leave those to one side. All right, uh, let's have a look. I was thinking as I was cutting out, one of these particular photos does remind me, if I can find it, this one, it actually reminds me of a photograph of my mother holding me as a baby, similar sort of pose, So it's, and it looks similar error actually as well, hmm, thought interesting, okay, so I have this one of a house, let me see, Now, obviously, whatever I put on the front is going to be hidden by the cards or the tags. So I might not actually do too much to these. might just do a little bit of collage using some of these scraps that I have um, on my table from when I made the journal. So I might just tear a few of those. Just a simple little collage, I think. Yep, uh, glue. Now this one. And I will distress the edges. And this one's vintage photo. what scraps I've got here. There's something across here as well. So, uh, let me see. Another polka dots maybe? No, don't like the polka dots on the polka dots. What else do we have? That one there is not too bad actually. I might use that one. And as I said, it's a good idea to keep these little scraps. You can use them for things. Now, it does need something on there, so <clears throat> just having a look what I've got. If there's any of these that are small enough to fit on there. do need to get myself is a larger um, vintage photo distress ink. I use that one quite a lot and it does annoy me um, the way the brush falls off all the time. So that is something that I do aim to get. Now uh, because this one was house themed I'm going to use one of the house stamps. Now 
I could back this onto something to make it larger, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to use it like that. What I will do is use the stamp, and it is the Darkroom Door Texture Stamp. All right, now need a tag to go in there with our image and I've already got an incredible mess in front of me oh well never mind okay looking at that we need about there do I want it how tall will that be yeah, I think that's tall enough for that spot. That fits there and it doesn't quite fit there. So I'll do a slightly narrower one for in there. Make this one a little shorter so that you can see the other one a little bit more. I think that's better. Yep. All right, now I'm going to make another two to fit this one. So I'm going to use these as templates. All right, fit nicely. Now there is going to need to be something else in there which is going to need to be a little bit narrower. So I'm thinking, I think I'm going to need more of this, although we could use some of this. Yes, I think we will. And what we might do is make a little book to go in there. So let me see, this was one, two, four inches wide. So I'm thinking if I make one seven inches, that should fold in half. Okay, and fit in, I hope. So seven inches, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I will need two of them. But that may not choose this way. Yep, that fits. So how long do they need to be? Let's have a look. Um, All of them that so it might actually work. All right now I think it was that way. So I have two of those and let's just check whether they fit. Ah, yes good. Okay so that will be the basis. So far so good. Now, um, I will, okay, I need to make a larger one to go in the back. So, let's have a look. We have one, two, three, four, and three quarter inches. So I'm thinking four and a half. And... Wise, it's probably just about right. Yes, it is. So we'll turn those into tags. So we have a large tag.
I don't want to just mash and put it as a mat behind. I want to do a bit more than that. I think what I will do is use this as my tearing ruler. It is actually um, a blade from what are they called? Hacksaw, I think. Um, it's not that sharp. It was a, it's a used one. It was given to me by my partner because I was complaining I couldn't actually buy a tear ruler in Australia. So he um, did give me this and just gave him the excuse to go and buy a new one apparently. So that's okay. Now I'm just going to look at the height I need. So roughly about there. This is going to be a random, a random rip. Often work with colour with sort of the vintage um, designs, so I do find it a little challenging. I must admit, I usually just use neutrals, but it is nice to challenge yourself, get out of your comfort zone. I must say, I'll just give that a little bit of a colour. What I really, really want is some book text. I might have to go and find some. I quite like that, maybe down there. Okay, um, I might pause the video and get some book text. Alright, um, just grabbed one of these. I think it's a dictionary or encyclopedia, I'm not actually sure. Okay, so let me see, just a random ripping, I think. We're just doing a little bit of collaging here, just for interest, make it a little bit more interesting. Uh, one of these stamps might be quite good. Actually, what could I use from this? Maybe one of the cameras, but if I'm going to use a camera, there were cameras on the album sheet. Looking which one I want, that one there. I want a whole one because it's actually going to be up towards the front. And I'm going to use some of the stamps as well. I think it's interesting to challenge yourself too to, to use things that you don't ordinarily use. It's very easy to get stuck into, I guess, a bit of a rut. Um, it's nice sometimes to use things, deliberately say, I'm going to use these things. I did um, a challenge, oh, I think it was the start of last year, where I had people send me in some things and I had to use those particular things to make journal pages. It was interesting, um, a little difficult sometimes, but it, it was really interesting to see what I could do. Um, I will link one of the videos, um, probably the end of this video, if you'd like to go and have a look, because it was interesting some of the things that you have to do because you don't have the usual supplies. But it was, um, I really enjoyed it actually. It, was challenging but enjoyable so you know sometimes it is good to get out of your comfort zone a little bit uh, something like maybe straight because or well, maybe that yeah that way and we'll pop the photo there we've got a little let me see what other color paper have we got I've got this one or we've got some more scraps here. What 
something to break those two up with. Actually, maybe it's a bit of music paper. It's actually got some sort of spray on there, so actually, I'm going to use that. Just a matter of fiddling with the bits and pieces you've got with collaging, just to see which you like the best, I guess, how you, how you think it's going to work the best. I think that'll do. Maybe something here. Maybe another stamp. Something that's got the pinks or the creams. Bird one. I do like this bird stamp, I must say. I do like this um, postmarked paper. Um, I think I've said it before in one of the other videos. It really is useful. It really is. Okay. Let's not spend too much time because we'll not get anywhere otherwise. There we go. Where's my glue book? That'll do. Well, I did want to make two of these, so I may make one on camera and make one off camera and come back, I think, because otherwise um, the video is going to be way too long. I try not to make them more than half an hour, um, just because I personally find if it's longer than half an hour, it's it's hard to, to watch it all in one hit, you know, if you're busy and so forth. So I try not to make them too long, and I do speed them up wherever I can too, as you will notice. This collection of papers is really nice, actually. Really, if you're into the vintage stuff, really, really nice to use. And as you can see, you know, there's plenty of things you can do with it. If you haven't seen the other videos of the other ladies as well, um, I'd advise you to have a look. Um, I must admit I haven't seen them yet myself, but I am looking forward to seeing them seeing what they're coming up with as well, you know, because we may all get the same papers, but uh, we do get to choose different other bits, and um, it's really interesting how people just, everyone has different, different ideas. So I'm really looking forward to actually seeing the other ladies. Okay, and just to finish it, to pull it all together, that's where your... Um, text stamp comes in because it just seems to work. Just overlap a little bit here. There we go. So that's that one. And I will put a hole in that too when I in a little while when I um, move to the next bit. Alright. Move that to one side. Now, um, let's have a look. Where are we? We've got two more tags and the little booklet. So we might do this tag. And they're blank on the back, so they're for journaling or you can put them into your books or your journals or whatever can be decorated if you like, book text or um, uh, tea dyed paper, coffee dyed paper. Okay, now because I want them all to all coordinate, I'm going to use a little bit more of this one. And I'm going to use some of this, but in a different order this time. Oh, my fingers are so sticky. And some of the stamps. I will possibly... Let's have a look. What could we put there? One of the books, maybe. That. I want that. Of course I want that one. It's in the middle of the page, I want that one. 
let's be smart about this so we don't wreck everything. Actually, like that cameo lady too. Might pop that on another one. All right. All right. Let's put it all together. And remember, we can trim around those edges. That's no big deal. Now I did want to stick something under this one, so I've got to be careful where I stick it. So we just pop it like so. A little bit of music paper, I think. I'm going to push this, if I can, into this space here. There we go. Just breaks it up a little bit, and I think I might need a little bit of this here as well. It's amazing how these little bits tucked in here and there can make a difference, I think. That's why you don't throw stuff out. <laughs> All your little bits. Okay, there we go. All right, and we will trim that now. Again, we'll pop some of the stamp across. So that would be the second one. Let that dry. Now the third one. And I might use this one more as a focal point this time. Now I think I'm going to have to de-sticky my fingers. That'll be good. Now, let's have a look. And those white bits, it's not a major problem because you just use your um, Distress Ink to darken them a little bit. Do it that way. Uh, we need something else. Let's have a look. What are we using for our main image? A little boy with the cart's kind of cute. Maybe we'll use him. Yes, we will. Okay. <clears throat> and what we can do is use partial pictures. Because like the stamp, you could do the same thing. Tuck it in the behind. No, I think we'll just use the... Uh, the forward side. And a little stamp, I think. All together. something else just need something to bring the two together that's what I thought anyway just felt that they needed to be joined a little bit more so I'm just having a look what else we have that um, I could use I think we might just leave it at that. Oh, maybe there. Yep, I'm going to put it there. And of course, a bit of stamping as well. Alright, and that's that one. And we still have <coughs> the little booklet. So let's have a look. What have we got here? Oh, I've got sticky fingers again. I've got this piece here. But I think that's a little bit much directly onto there. So thinking 
this little one here. And a little stamp in the corner, I think. And we're going to have this one. Something poking out there underneath would be good. Oh, sorry, I'm probably muttering to myself and you can't hear me. Um, I'm just thinking something under there, just poking up. So it doesn't even need to be a full image, really. Maybe that book. And anyone who's familiar with watching my videos will know that I do have a habit of muttering to myself when I'm concentrating. So I do apologise. It's... Not something I do intentionally, I must say, it just happens. Uh, I think so. I'm going with that. Okay. And I'm sure we need to speed up a little bit. It feels like this has been taking quite some time. thinking I might actually sew some paper into there first I'm going to do it with the sewing machine because um, it'll be easier to sew it before I stick everything on so we'll pause the video and I'm going to um, I might actually put some lining of tea dye paper and then put a couple of pages I'm not going to put much just a couple of pages so I will be back okay um, I did sew straight down the middle. Before I did that, I did glue um, some tea dyed paper onto the, co the um, cover. And I did do just a row of stitching down the middle. Okay, so that makes it a little book. And I'm just thinking, I actually like rounded corners. So I might just round the corners. quick decoration. Now of course I've got to remember how I did it and I've probably lost all the pieces. Uh, yes, I can't even remember which image I had. Where to go? Oh, here we go. There was that. There was that. Mm, I can't remember what else. Oh, sad. Sad, sad, sad. Oh, it was something like that. There was the book. And there was a stamp, which must be that one. So, yep, that's what it, I'm doing. All right. Now, that was something like that. Not straight, of course, because never do I do anything straight. So that was over like that, and the book was underneath. Nope. I've lost the book. There it is. And we'll just trim that off. Let's have a look. So we do have the little book, which has a couple of pages. Four pages, actually. All right, we do have this card which I will find the hole punch in a second. We have this one, and we have this one. So I will find the hole punch. Okay, I have put holes in all of them. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to finish off the next one. I will put some something through there, and then I'll put them in the uh, paper bag. And I will come back and show you how they've turned out. I think the video is going to be way too long otherwise. So I will be back very shortly. Okay, well, took a lot longer than I thought, but then it always does. I have finished the two now. So what I've done is, this one was the second one, and I didn't do any collaging. I just did some stamping on there because I was running out of time. I've put um, some little of the Nouveau Drops just on there, just for a little bit extra. So that's that one. And the ones that go in there, we have the large one, which is this one, which I put that little hat from the other paper the uh, decades paper 
and we have uh, the little booklet and I put the generations was one of those um, it was a journaling card and I put the two so it looks like different generations and it just has the paper inside as well uh, we have this one which is I used one of the sentiments remember and it's got a little bit of lace at the top and this one so what I did was that was only a half a picture so I tucked it in there thought that looked quite good so I will put those in I'm just a little bit hesitant because of the um, Nuvo drops here is the second one so this one you would have seen but I did add the Nuvo drops there as well uh, the big tag was this one the little booklet this one this one and this one now I was going to do these but I've totally run out of time so these may be a separate video I'm not sure yet we'll wait and see okay so they that is the um, another project for the Auntie Vera scrap and craft online store and do remember there is a discount for the products that I've used and the other ladies have used as well keep an eye out for the other videos as well check out the blog for a little bit more information um, and photographs as well um, other than that thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time bye for now